Who is the real Tarmac Specialist? This is a question that's been debated long and hard by nobody over millions and millions of never. Well, today, I, Ronald GT4, I'm going to take the first step towards answering this question. You've seen the streams, both on my channel and his, and well, we both claim to be the Tarmac Specialists. Not anymore. There can only be one Mr. Broadbent, if that is your real name. So, I'm laying down a challenge to you, Jimmy Broadbent, Shetty Irvine, and whatever else you decide to call yourself. How's this going to go down? Simple. I'm going to pick three games. I'm going to pick one stage from each of those games. So three stages in total. I'm going to give you and me five attempts at each of these stages. And whoever has the best combined time out of those three stages will be crowned the real Tarmac Specialist. So, somewhat dramatic intro aside, let me introduce you to our first stage of this little uh, challenge. The game, WRC8. I'm going to be playing the Xbox One version of this game, because well, it's in my hand. Uh, you may play whichever version is most convenient for you. You may use whatever uh, peripheral is most convenient for you. I'm a man of accommodation. I am going to be playing the Xbox One version. I'm also going to be using my Logitech G27 with the Drive Hub adapter. Love this thing. So, what stage are we doing? Well, we're going to go to Germany and we're going to do the Thrysen stage. Weather conditions at dawn, clear weather. And what car are we going to be driving? We're going to be going to the WRC class. We're going to be driving the Toyota Gazoo Racing Yaris as Yarimati Latvala. Why Latvala? I don't know. Okay, so for additional options, we're going to be running the soft dry asphalt tires, of course. As well as we're going to leave the setup at default. Not going to change anything, just the regular asphalt de uh, setup. Um, in terms of gameplay settings, you can run whatever assists or not assists you want to use. Um, the damage I will put to visual only because this is more for fun instead of something super serious. And I think that's about it for general uh, settings here. So again, five attempts to set your best time on this stage. Allow me to go first. There we go. Twenty hairpin left, failing. Oh my goodness! Now I have not been. I've played a little bit of this game already. Um, just a little bit, just to get myself accustomed to the physics of this game. I'm not. Oh, that's a rock. I'm not really uh, have too much experience with the modern WRC series, especially this stage. I've done a few other tarmac stages. Uh, in this game, but I specific specifically wanted to choose a stage that I haven't run yet because I fig figured it'd be a little unfair for me to practice a stage a million times before actually uh, recording this with the whole uh, five attempts thing. So, this is basically the shakedown run for me. Um, again, I uh, haven't really played much of the Milestone slash Kylo Ten WRC games. I uh, played a little bit of 4 and 7, those are the mo ones I have the most experience with. And I have played through the, uh, the entire Evolution series though. Pretty good. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna f finish, or I'm done rambling here. And I am just going to drive, because I need to listen to these pace notes. Kind of very important. Oh, oh, oh. Honestly, I'm surprised I went that far without having a crash. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Flat left, 30. Oh, Five fuck. Well, that went well. Oh, penis. <clears throat> I am stuck on the rock. Let's go. I have to say, the stage design in this game... It's fucking amazing. 
This is a lot of fun to just drive. For caution, left two into junction, right two, uphill, narrows. Right oh, we're going this way. Well, <laughs> there's my first penalty. Foot. Okay. <laughs> Four minutes 45 with that nine second penalty. Uh, not a good first run. I think I should probably turn my TV up a little bit so I can actually hear what I'm doing. Or hear the pace notes. Alright, attempt number two. Here we go. 20, hairpin left, bail in. And a fantastic start. Right, Short into square right, widens. Fuck that baller. Oh no. I have done the bad. Oh, don't hit that. Oh, don't hit that. I hit it. Left five, keep in for caution. Left two into junction, right two, uphill, narrows. There's a turn there. Right four, Titans, and left three, bumpy. Five, keep it to flat left, two hundred, bumpy. Caution, hard break. Oh no, oh no, 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 442. Okay. Attempt three. Left. Can I avoid getting a penalty this time? And flat right tightens four. Short into left four. Narrow. Into flat right thirty. I haven't made a hard break. Hairpin right over crest. Don't cut. Might have bit off a little more like chew with my stage choice. I'll get off a neutral. Okay. Right six, keep in into left. Five, game, don't go. cut. One hundred. Go, 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 don't do it again. Spin bad. Send it! Oh, that actually worked. Oi! I think that fucked the camera more than the car. Oh, it's the chicane. Oh. Oh, look at me go. It's like I almost know what I'm doing. Just kidding. Ugh. I don't know what I'm doing. Cat says hi. Oh, there's things there. There's very solid things there. Okie dokie. Note self, there are very solid things there. Caution, hard break for square left to small cut. 200. Also there. They're, they're also there. Well, we're getting better. 4.14. Ah, alright. So, if that's, that's 4.14.107. With two runs to go. See if I can improve. 20, in left, A little bit tardy on that start, but it's fine. Yep. Don't worry about right it. Six, They're insured. In, right. okay, this da tight. hairpin is so fucking cute. You have no idea. Right six. Original left. joke. Left five. Caution, hard break for square left. Oh, I actually got a green sucker. Not bad, considering I have the AI in the hardest difficulty. Left four, Necessary in, game shift. Right oh, what the hell? Well, that's the first time I've seen that in this game. I've done like 15 stages. <laughs> Good thing I didn't swing as wide as I usually do in there. Finish. Yeah! Oh, we're in the sub four minutes. Let's go. 358, 485. 
Whew, all right, that just leaves one more attempt to go. Can I, can I, can I improve even greater? Probably not. Let's go for it. Let's fucking send it. 20, head in left, bail in. And front right, tight and small, short in the left. Got to grab the handbrake there, but made it around. It's fine. Hard break, head in right over crest, don't cut, 80. Didn't overshoot, did not overshoot for once. Let's go. Right six, keep it, into left five, don't cut, 100. Square left, big cut, 100. I almost made it. <laughs> There's a pole there. Right five, keep in, and left five over crest, cut. And right four, no, 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 short, no, no, no. cut, narrows, and left five, cut 30, hard break. Square left, don't cut, 80. Oh, God. I am pushing too hard. In case you haven't noticed. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize I was in third gear there. I was in second. Right four, 40, danger. Right three, narrows a junction into left three, short. Into right five, tightens long. The left three, cut and right three, 30. Whoa. Acute hair pit, right, 30, left three, open long and tightens. For crest into right six. Flat left, 30. Left five, keep in over crest. And flat right for flat left, long. And right six, long, narrows. Into flat left over crest, 100. Uh -huh. Hard break, chicane left into square right, wide, 100. Oh, you're supposed to continue slowing down. Right five, don't cut into left four, short, don't cut into right six, 30. Hard break for square left, cut, narrows, 300. Hard break for square left. Small cut at junction. 100. Right 6 and left 6. 50. Caution. Flat right at junction. Wide. Left 5. Keep in for right 6. Long. Titans. 4. Keep in. Have in left. 100. Go. Oh, two green sectors. We're moving up in the world. Right five, short at the left four. Right five, keep in. For caution, left two into junction, right two, uphill, narrows. Right four, tightens and left three, bumpy. And flat right, into flat left and right four, tightens, short. Left six into right five. And right four, short, 80, hard break, have been right, don't cut into left four, long, keep in, open. And right five, 30, caution, hard break, junction, left three, oh, 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 right oh, 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 I'm alive. We're living. Holy crap, we're living. Keep it to flat left, 200, bumpy. Caution, hard break for square left, small cut, 200. Ooh, three green sectors. Let's go. Right six tightens. Five long. Keep in. Thirty. Left six tightens. Thirty. Into right four. Short and finish. And across the line. Three fifty-seven. Two four one. Holy crap! Oh wow. Third place in the. Is the uh. Is the AI not bad? All right. So. That was the first stage um you know what not bad considering i was going into this stage completely blind not knowing what to expect and with little uh little uh experience with this game but there you go jimmy 357 241 that's your first time to beat let's move on to stage two all right so for stage two of our little challenge um kind of taking the risk with this one because i don't know if our boy jim bob actually has a 
convenient access to this game, but we're going to go with Colin McRae Dirt, going back console generation, or uh, as known here in North America, just Dirt, no, no Colin McRae. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Colin McRae Dirt is going to be our next game in this challenge, in the stage we're going to choose, if I choose the right scene in OBS, is uh, not this one, it is going to be uh, in Spain, I'm going to use the time trial mode, uh, Rally, Discipline, Spain, Stage, Punta Brava B, and we're going to be using a full drive class car, the, the, uh, the Lancer Evo 9. And uh, as far as difficulty, again, uh, because I want this to be more of a for fun than a super serious thing, I'm going to go on rookie difficulty just because of uh, low mechanical damage. Again, default setup, here is the stage we're looking at here. 4.2 miles, all tarmac, and uh, let's do it to it. Alright, here we go, attempt one out of five, here we go. So I guess I should note that I am using uh, just a standard 360 controller for this, because I am playing the Xbox 360 version of the game. Again, whatever whatever is most uh, easily available to you, you may use whatever version of the game. Hopefully you actually have it. If not, well, I guess this whole uh, second stage is going to be moot. Um, Again, I've done some practice just to get myself warmed up for this game on a different stage. Again, you're feel free to do that as well. Uh, and my god, I hate the turbo hiss on this thing. Holy crap, I hate it. It's actually been a while since I've uh, visited this game. Last visited this game. I played this a long time ago. This is actually my first Colin McRae game. Because, uh, well, I didn't know that series really existed up until, you know the seventh console generation when Dirt came out, and then Grid came out, and basically that's when I learned that Codemasters was really good at making racing games, and also existed. Right four, left five. And, right four long. and yeah, that's about all the uh, ramblings I have, so now it's time to try to concentrate. Oh, one more rule specifically for this game, um, the map selection in the uh, on-screen display not allowed. You must either have visual pace notes turned off or use the arrows like I'm doing. No map. It's because it doesn't feel right. Oh, yep, that's, that's a rabbit. Tell you what, it's like night and day going from WRC 8 to this. This is a much more forgiving area experience in terms of driving physics and stage design. That's bush. That's 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 a wall. Still using the hood cam or bonnet cam depending on you know, where you live. Or as I like to call it the tryhard camera, because this is usually the camera view that I use in most games when I really want to go for just outright pace. And so I call it the tryhard camera. And across the line for our first run, a 350.74, 6-point nice off of Pastrami, Pastrami's record. All right. Thank you, Travis. Appreciate it. So, 350.74. Not a bad first attempt. Let's try to do better. Only winners so, attempt in this two. Let's go. Let's do this. Ooh, we're already uh, two seconds up on the first sector. Let's go. I am speed. Coming for you, Pastrana. Oh, don't go wide here again. I went wide here again. Damn it. Ran over the same bush, too. Ooh. Risky business, but I can do that in this game. I fear nothing. Oh no! It was going so well, and now it's all falling apart. God damn it. Alright, well. finish. You hate to, right at the end too, you hate to see it. I still improved, but definitely lost a lot of time at the end. Damn it. Well, 
That was only the second attempt, at least, so... 347.93 is now my new time, my, uh, new benchmark. Smooth Let's see steady. if I can do better. I'm Mr. Smooth, and you're Mr. Steady. Alright, Mr. Smooth, let's go. This makes me want to play through this game again. I do a let's play of it, but no, I gotta get through the remaining three Colin McRae Rally games first. So I've done one and two, but do the other three first. Gotta do this shit in order. To please my OCD that I may or may not have. Oh no! I lived. It's fine. We're still rolling. Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. Okay, apparently I'm being punished for my Limp Biscuit reference. Well. Shit. There goes another run. Here's the finish line, and this one is complete right off. Heck. We made it. Good job. Oh, stop it, controller. I know your wiring is starting to get faulty. Alright, well... That sucked. 355, uh, attempt 4, let's go! Concentrating, I'm driving the car really fast, really fast, really freaking fast. Do the finish. Hey look, I finally set a time without any major mistakes, and fuck you, Pastrana, I beat you. <laughs> Take that, Mr. Pastrami. Alright, so, 341.98, a new world record! <laughs> if only. Well, I got one more attempt at this, so let's see if I can improve on a 341.98. Let's show everyone how it's done. Let's go. Right three, one hundred. Left four, and left four. We're off to the greatest of starts. Right kind of got a little uh, excited with my gear, my uh, upshifts there. <laughs> and left four. Sixty, left three. Eighty, right three. It's okay. And left four. And left four. Go 60, to the C right of four. four. Sixty, left three. Oh wait, now there's and a three. Right four long. Never mind. And left four, right four, left four. Eighty, left four, and right four. I remember long. that one. That's the one that screwed me over a couple 80, times. Not by much, but 60, just enough. Left four. And right six, sixty, left four. One fifty. Wait, wait, wait. Right four, left four. Oh shit, I'm already almost a second up. Alright, let's go. And right four long. 150. Left six. 80. Right five. Long over 150. Titans two. Damn it. And left three. Sent. Right four. 60. Right four. Left four. 60. Left three. And left four. And right four into left three. 40, right 5. 80, keep right, left 5, and right 4, long. And right 3. 80, left 6. 100, left 3, and right 4. And left 4. Oh, yep, yep, five. yep. That ain't right. That ain't how you do it. And right 4. 40, left 4, and right 3. 100. Did I hit the thing? I did not hit the thing, yay! Left 3, long into right 2, opens. Finally I've learned that right turn. Three into left two. It only took me 5 tries. Holy crap, how did I gain that much time? Okay. 40, right 4, left 3, right 4. 
That's a lot more time on the table than I thought I did. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm taking the time off the table though. Or I'm putting the time back on the table. That couldn't have gone a whole lot worse. Yeah. Oh, second gear, bad idea. Right four, very long, opens. Tell you what, sec first and second gear are really short five, on this car. Right two. And left four, opens. Oh, the car bounced more than I thought it was going to. Uh, 100, finish. I was doing so good and I threw a lot of it away in the final sector, but I still improved by two and a half seconds, okay. You're a natural, you know that? I mean, sure. I'll take that. So, oh, 3.39.45 is going to be the time to beat in this stage. I don't know what the total time is. We'll figure that out after the last stage. But there you go. 3 minutes 39.45. So, stage 2 complete. Let's move on to the third and final stage. So, for our final stage in this little challenge, uh, we're going to go back even further in time. Back to your childhood, and the childhood I didn't have. I didn't play this game for the first time until, like, a couple weeks ago. That is Colin McRae Rally 2.0. I'm going to be playing the PlayStation version. Um, you know, whatever's most convenient for you. Although, I don't know how different the PC and PlayStation versions are, so maybe... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to be playing the PlayStation version on my PlayStation 3 using a DualShock 3. Again, use whatever you like. And uh, I should probably switch scenes before I go further. So, here's the stage for this stage. This is going to go to time trial, of course. We're going to be choosing the Seat Cordoba for our car, because it's a Seat. Why not? Uh, we're going to be going to Italy, and we're going to be going to stage 2, Carpi. 4.8 kilometers in length, 100% tarmac. Apparently, my best time in this is a 258. Let's see if I can beat that in five tries or less. So, again, just like with all the others, or the other two stages, default setup. And uh, with that uh, out of the way, let's get started. So, the reason why I chose this game, well, because you told me this game is your childhood and. I thought, you know, why not? It'd be a good idea. So, if you remember in the dirt section, I was talking about how I always use the uh, the hood cam when I'm like trying to hot lap, you know, the try hard camera. Uh, not this time. I'm actually just gonna use the the uh, chase cam here, or third person, whatever you wanna call it, and immediately crash. All right, cool. Hell yeah, yeah. all right. Well, first run is just kind of a explain my feelings as well as try to remember the stage layout but uh anyways uh i lost my train of thought what was i gonna say i don't remember oh yeah but uh i used the chase cam in this cam i tried using like the uh the hood cam and the interior cam i just don't like the way the camera moves in corners so i'm just gonna stick with this plus this is the camera i used when i actually did my let's play of this game you know, not too long ago, so, you know, this is the one I'm most familiar with, therefore have the best uh, car feeling with, I guess you could say. Although the only thing I'm feeling right now are all the walls. But now that I've finally fully experienced this game, I understand why it's so beloved. It's such an amazing game. It's so good. So much fun, uh, especially on like the the hardest difficulty. It's such a fun challenge because you really have to push, and give it your all, which I'm currently uh, failing at doing. Well, not a good benchmark run at all. Three minutes, four point seven five. Uh, yeah, let's let's try that again, except a lot better, <laughs> shall we? Uh, heck. 
Oh heck. Alright. Ten two. I got a ghost chasing me now. Must listen to the pace notes by our man, not Nicky Grist, because they decided to replace his voice with American uh, generic tin for the North American release of this game. Because we're not cool enough, I guess. Although, by far, my favorite thing about the North American version of this game is the fact that they got Ned Jarrett, as in a NASCAR legend, Ned Jarrett, to do the intro uh, narration for the rallies. Oh, it's it's so good and dumb. I love it. Never mind. Oh, this way. Oh, okay. Well, I set a new fa uh, set a new record for this save. Nice, two fifty five point four one. Considering I was kind of all over the place and hitting a lot of walls, still there's there's definitely a lot of room for improvement. So. Let's move on to attempt three and see if I can improve even further. I'm actually gonna have to deal with Spooky Boy now. God damn it! Try to turn ghosts off. Oh well. Dude, imagine just pinging off a third gear and not actually upshifting. It's my favorite pastime. That's not how you're supposed to do that. No, oh, Spooky, go away. I don't like you. Well, yep. Very good. Well, I improved again. By another almost two seconds. To a uh, 253.86. Noise. But I have two tries left, so... Can I go even faster? Let's find out. That was a good sign. I'm already destroying my ghost. How many more times am I going to miss that turn? Well, I only have one more shot at it, so at least one. <laughs> or at most one. Just kidding. I'm getting a lot of time in that sector. Not sure if I should feel disgusted about that. Struggle at this last sector, but I did improve. 
By a lot, actually. Jeez, three seconds. My, my hair is messed up. Okay. Well. Down to a 250. Dang. And there's still plenty of time on the table, too, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, let's go into our final attempt here, our final stage. Can I beat a 250.57? gonna be a tight battle with my ghost, I can tell. Shit. That's a wall. Not supposed to hit those. Oh no 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 no. Well, there, there it goes. Alright. Uh, well, that spells the end of that. No, uh, no one proven from there. Yeah, I lost three seconds, alright, well. I'm gonna finish out this run just to see what, what I can run. I gained a second and a half in that sector, I'm actually disgusted. Like, I'm catching my ghost, oh frig. Well, there you go, Jimmy, you got plenty of time to make up on this. Alright, well there's that, so across the line, I ended up recovering to get a 252.03, despite flying off the road. I gained a second and a half in one of those middle sectors, that disgusts me. Yeah, the fourth sector, look at that, 22.89 to a 24.39. Oh well, that's not the best time, so... A 250.57 is what I got for this stage, so... Let's tell it, let's add up the results and uh, see what I got for a total time. So, after doing some math, you can see here that uh, over the three games and three stages, my total rally time has added up to a, unless my math is wrong, 10 minute 27.26 second rally. So now it's your turn, Jimmy. Let's see who the real Tarmac Specialist is. As far as the deadline, well, I'm gonna give you as much time as you want, really. I'm in no rush. You're a busy man. Do this whenever you feel like it. If you even feel like it. Basically, all I really wanted to do with this video is, one, do some rallying, which is, like, one of my favorite things to do in games now, especially on Tarmac. And, two, I guess this is kind of an appreciation post for Jimmer, or something like that. Uh, just... I appreciate everything he does for this community whether it's you know sim racing or flying out to monaco to do commentary on gran turismo or freaking driving his shed his actual shed around the nordschleife to freaking just whatever to just hanging out with some lads some who may not feel like he deserves it yeah that that's that's just the uh the, uh, the the imposter syndrome talking there, and yeah, I I feel like I don't get enough of a chance to interact with Jimmy, and I don't know. I this idea sparked in my head one night, and I thought, well, this would be a, a way to interact with him in some way, and well, here we friggin' are. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, before I sign off, I, I do want to thank. Jimmy Broadbent, just just for being you, just for being such a great guy who's able to do great things and have great success. Genuinely, yeah. So with that out of the way, thanks for watching this video. If you are not Jimmy Broadbent and want to participate in this challenge, go right ahead. You don't even have to do all three stages if you want. If you if you don't have all the games, say hi to my cat. Um, oh, okay, never mind. Say bye to my cat. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you if you do these stages and you want to share your results, you know, send any screenshots or videos. Uh, tag me on Twitter at RhinoGT4. Just because. It's all for fun.
for fun and the love of our little niche. I'm going to stop rambling now. Who is the real Tarmac specialist? <laughs>